all right everybody um, and I'm saying everybody but this video is mainly for Onefinity CNC users and uh, specifically for Grant Davis uh, a member in the group he sent me his VFD spindle cable and that plug to change out for the the spindle I made up his cable and got everything set up so it, don't mind the janky wiring um, I just needed to do this test for him make sure everything's working and uh, he inquired about you know being able to turn on an IOT relay for dust collection when the spindle kicks on and and I've, I have a way to uh, make that happen so obviously this is for spindle users let me first start off with saying that all the mo motor parameters and everything have been set up that need to be set up that are aside from the the RS-485 communication for this to talk to this which which all of that is in here on how to set up the drive for uh, communication it tells you the parameters to change so what I'm using to trigger that IOT relay is this wire here this this essentially a ground digital common and then you will see that 24 volts is ran through to the FB input input terminal of this relay so when I'll show you what this means the setting that I set it's set for number two and then FC is an output which goes to the positive side so DCM goes to the negative of the IOT relay and then the FB or uh, FC which is the 24 volts going through and then out goes on the positive and I will show you it's hard to do with one hand all this so there's your little relays so the 3 amp 0 to 30 volt DC input is FB FB is receiving that 24 volts in and then the FC is normally open and closes depending on whatever I set it to do so let me go to this page so PD052 those those there so I have it set for number two zero speed the contact will act when the output frequency of the inverter is less than its starting frequency so it's really dependent on your starting frequency i think the starting frequency is like i don't know um all i know is that it works <clears throat> this isn't really a video on how to fully program a vfd i just i know i know it works so okay um, again no format to this video but I just need to I needed to do this test for him anyways and I decided let's make a video at the same time so for those of you who are thinking about doing a spindle and have not yet and I recommend the Huan Yang brand because that's we know it works so these tend to be cheap but still the better option of the other don't get the YL brand or whatever it's just these ones are known to work so here's your RS 485 connectors the negative and the positive let me go to the indicators tab here and show you guys so where is it at so number 13 is your a or positive and number 14 is your b negative which are hooked up on the breakout board this is 13 and up here is 14 14 is going to the negative the rs negative and 13 is going to the rs positive i'm not going to go into showing you the parameters because again it is in the tool tab right here tells you exactly what to change for the Huan Yang VFD you know you select it from the drop down menu up here remember to change your speed to 24,000 
I would leave your minimum speed at zero because again, if you put in a value like 10,000 RPM in there, but you accidentally program your bit, like, like let's say for instance, you wanted to run it at 19,000 RPM and then you accidentally forgot the one and put 9,000, well, your VFD shouldn't run. So you're gonna go start a program because you're, you're less than that 10,000 RPM that you may have put in there, but you actually have it programmed to run at 9,000, so it's not gonna run the VFD, and now your program's running and your spindle's not. So keep that in mind, I just leave it at zero. Anyhow, let's go back to the control tab. Um, let's go to the MDI tab, and I will do an M3 M M3 S12000 and hit play. You can see that the IOT relay clicked on. We're running 12,000 RPM and the spindle is on. Let me do a 24,000. And we're good. We're running. And it stopped. clicks off because it's less than the uh, less less than the base frequency or whatever it was that that setting was that I chose for for this to click on and off so easy way to make the IOT relay work out great part is is that these VFDs have a 10 volt output they got a 5 volt output they got a 24 volt output so you've got three different spots that you can use to bring power from the VFD through this to trigger a relay to click this guy on you don't have to hook anything up to anything here and you know that when this clicks on this is gonna click on and your dust collection is gonna come on all right, so uh, anyhow, Grant Davis, everything's working. You're good to go. Any more questions, hit me up. I'll help you out.